Hey guys, we are back playing some more Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, and today we are going to jump into a Mega Heracross deck, also known as Pegacross, because the guy that gave me this deck list was named Peg, and um, yeah, so shout out to Peg, um, I don't know his like username or anything, but his name is Peg, I, I, don't, I don't even know if that's his username, but he was in the Google Hangout um, on Wednesday, so... Um, yeah, thanks to Peg for this deck list uh, and for this idea, but yes, Mega Heracross, here we go. Let's look at its attack. Big Bang Horn, for 3 energy it does 180 damage, minus 10 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So basically, it does 180 damage, um, knocking out any and all EX Pokemon, um, with the exclusion of Mega, e uh, Mega EXs, if Mega Evolutions, whatever you want to call them. Um, so... <laughs> A great card. Um, a lot of people don't really think it's that good because a lot of damage counters get put on um, a, a lot of your Pokemon in a game. So um, we have a lot of healing in this deck to counteract that. Um, just cheer them here. Um, with uh, once during your turn before you attack, you may heal 20 damage from one of your Pokemon that has any energy attached to it, or grass energy attached to it. So basically we can heal 20 damage. If we have two cheer on our bench, we can heal 40 damage. And we also have Jinx here, which can heal 10 damage when this Pokemon is on your bench, um, healing a lot of, lot of damage. And we also run Gold Potion, we run two Regular Potion, we run four Super Potion, just to get that healing on the Mega Heracross. What else do we run? Um, we run Mr. Mime to block bench damage because if they have a Landorus, they can just like start um, loading on damage to the bench, and that really loads up fast when it comes to the Heracross. And we need to get those one-hit KOs. Oh, and another thing that heals is the herb Herbal Energy, which heals 30 damage when you put it on one of your Grass Pokemon. So that's an extra 30 damage of healing. And where'd my thing go? Okay, so yeah, that's an extra dam 30 damage of healing, and it's completely awesome. Um, another thing we run is Verizian EX just to um, get that energy acceleration going, and it's also nice with the Verdiant Wind to or Verdiant Wind to get rid of those special conditions, so my Mega Heracross can't be poisoned or, is, or asleep or any special condition ever. Um, so that's nice. Um, and basically, we have Hard Charm in here just to decrease the amount of damage that's done to Heracross EX, and that is basically all I got for you in this silly little deck list. We got nine Grass Energy, four Herbal Energy. And then, um, yeah, that's basically it. So let's jump into a game and hopefully um, win some games. Um, this deck isn't the greatest because sometimes it can have some um, difficulty setting up. But let's see if I can find it here. So Pegacross, because it's just named after Peg, um, because it just is that way. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yes, we are going to jump into Mega Heracross deck and... Um, yeah, like I was saying before, um, it can be kind of hard to set up, but if we do get set up pretty nicely, um, it's a great, great, great deck, and you cannot win against it, <laughs> because Heracross is basically invincible, um, but I'm going to skip here if this takes too long to find an opponent. And it doesn't, so, wow, that, uh, how come it always says that? I'm, I, at the exact moment I say, I'm going to skip, it says, you can have your opponent. Um, but that's fine. I, I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay, so, looks like we're going against Polly 21 versus Tyler 1. Versus Tyler 1. Tyler, Tyler 1, Tyler plays, Tyler 1, same thing. Polly is going down today. And he's gonna flip tails. We like to go first with this deck, just to get that Verizian powered up as soon as possible. And it looks like we do start with the Verizian, so that it's awesome. But it looks like we start with a Juniper and two Super Potions in her hand. And we do not want to discard those Super Potions because um, we need those as much healing as we can get. So, I'm glad I top decked the end so I can just end instead of Super Potion. And it looks like we do get the energy right away. So, that's a perfect start for us. Except for we don't have a Supporter next turn, but we do have the Skyla so we can get uh, Professor's Letter and get another energy in play if we need to. So, at this point, I think I'm going to put the Hard Charm down just in case, uh, you know... He has a Startling Megaphone, just get rid of that Startling Megaphone as soon as possible. I mean, we do run three Hard Charms, so that won't be too bad. Um, but, it looks like we are going up against a Garboder deck, 
um, which is going to be annoying because it's going to shut off our Verdiant Wind. It's going to shut off our Jinx's ability. It's going to shut off our, um, what do you call it? Uh, Cheerum's ability. So that's a lot of our healing going down the drain. Um, so we want to try to get as many startling megaphones in play as possible. Um, I mean, not as many. We want to save our startling megaphones as much as possible um, in order to do a lot of knocking out with the Mega Heracross. Um, and I hope, you know, I don't really know what the, his deck is right now. I'm guessing it's a Landorus Mewtwo because there is a Trubbish and Pikachu. So, you know, it just looks like a Landorus Mewtwo, especially for that fighting energy, too. So, um, we're probably going to see a Landorus come out here and just be awesome like that. Um, I'm. Did he use a Supporter yet? Um, he used a Skyla, okay. Um, so, that's his Supporter for the turn. And there's a Full Art Landorus. Oh, man. So, next turn, I want to get two energy on my Heracross. Um, we're not going to be out, able to knock out the Trubbish, which is kind of annoying, but um, we want to get... Uh, Verdiant Wind in play uh, right now. So I'm going to go for Professor's Letter. Hopefully I have it. And it looks like it might be prized here. Um, which is kind of dang it. Very annoying. Um, so we're going to go for a supporter in that case. Probably, I don't want to go for an end, but I think I might have to. Um, or we could go for a Call Risk because I do have two Ultra Balls. Because I don't want to end him when he has one card. That just seems illogical and dumb. So, actually, I might go just for a Juniper. Yeah, why not just go for the Juniper? Um, we just have Ultra Balls in our hand anyways. It's not going to be too big, big of a difference. Um, we're going to Ultra Ball for the Mega Heracross and get that guy in play right now because Mega Heracross is a pain in the butt to get to, into play. And since we can't attack anyways, why not get the Mega Heracross out right now? Right? Mega Heracross, there we go. And that ends our turn because he is, an, he is a Mega Evolution. And mega, when you Mega Evolve, you have to end your turn. So, that will end our turn. And hopefully he doesn't have a supporter. That would be awesome. Um, but if he does, you know, I guess that just has to be that way. Um, but it looks like, it, unless he top deck a supporter, he doesn't have a supporter. Ooh, he doesn't even have a hand. Okay, this is good for me. <laughs> um, he does have the Raichu powered up, though. Oh, and there's a Mr. Mime, so that Landers won't be doing much. Um, I kind of want to put the Verizian on the bench, but I kind of don't. So I'm just going to Juniper it away. And then, look at all these energy. Okay, we're going to put an energy down, and then Verdiant, or not Verdiant Wind, Emerald Slash for two energy onto my benched Mega Heracross. Nicely done, Mega Heracross, nicely done. We ha we don't have any Jinxes or uh, Cheerums in play yet, which is kind of disappointing, but we don't need to because he doesn't even have any hand so that's nice there's our cheerum and that bench damage will be blocked um, I can just verdiant wind again this turn or I could retreat and then start attacking with mega heracross um, but I feel like that's not a good option so I'm just going to attach an energy and then just emerald slash um, maybe or or should I juniper um, I kind of want to save my potion just in case. Um, so I, I, I'm going to knock out this Trubbish anyway. So I'm just going to put one energy on my benched Cheerum. So I can just uh, em energy switch that if I need to and just be awesome. And there's the professor's letter that I was looking for. Um, kind of a little late there, but, you know, that's okay. So he's bringing out his Raichu. That Raichu is only doing 20 damage times the amount of bench Pokemon. So he's only doing 40 damage, um, which is nothing. <laughs> Oh man, and he doesn't have any way of doing anything. And there's a Jinx that I can put down. And we're just going to retreat for one energy here. And bring out our Mega Heracross. And totally knock out this Raichu with the Big Bang Horn for 180 damage. Good job, Mega Heracross. You were awesome. Okay, so that's another prize we get to take. And oh, look at these Deoxys, these Deoxys sleeves. Somebody gave these to me. I forgot who it was, though. I wish I could just name him out. But there's his first supporter. Um, not his first supporter, but his first drawing supporter. And there's another um, Landorus on the bench, and he tries to poison me, but that's not going to work because my Verizian is verting wind. And he's just going to be doing 10 damage to me because of the hard charm. So I can just heal that off with Jinx's ability and just attack for 180 damage. Um, so basically, he only did 10 damage that turn. That is amazing. Um, this hard charm, Mega Heracross is amazing. So I'm going to heal that damage off. You know, why not just evolve my Churum? or my Cherubi, and then we can Big Bang Horn for 180, knocking out this Landorus EX in one hit. 
Wow, good job, Mega Heracross. You are awesome. And now he's only left with one Landorus left, and that is an easy knockout from a Mega Heracross because he's not he doesn't even have any energy in play. He's only doing 10 damage a turn. He needs to get a Lucario in play ASAP, but he probably doesn't even play Lucario. Um, there's a Trubbish, a Pikachu, um, and probably the win game, the end game for me, um, because he can't retreat. So there is the Big Bang Horn for 180, knocking out two Landers in a row, and another Jinx in Grass Energy. So there we go. Let's we ring the Spiel of Death. Wow, I can't talk, apparently. Let's spin the Wheel of Death and w play another game. Why not? We're only 11 minutes into the episode here, so that's going to be great. That's going to be great indeed. Um, let's see who we're going against, though. Slacking! <laughs> He's too lazy to think of a reason. Um, hopefully you get that inside joke. Um, 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 um. Sorry, I'm going to blow my nose here because... Because I need to. Okay, so. Um, I want to make a joke, but nobody will get it except for the people that were in the, the, the Hangout, the Google Plus Hangout. Um, slash Twitch Hangout the other night, um, and that is, I am screwed. I am screwed. <laughs> oh man, okay, I just had to say that in the video, just because it goes along with this deck so well. Um, but yeah, like I said, none of you will ever get that, except for, yeah, okay. So it looks like we're going up against a Ch Cub Chew deck, um, which might be a Bear Tick deck, which might be a Jellison deck, which might be a big pain in the butt for me, because my Mega Heracross has a 30, uh, I mean a 3 retreat cost. Um, but we do see a Fire Energy, so I have no idea what the heck this deck is. Um, he does poison me, but I have a Herbal Energy just to heal off 30 damage from my Verizian and get rid of the Poison and Sleep because of the Verdiant Wind ability. So that's awesome. And I'm probably going to Ultra Ball here for... Um, a Heracross, because I need to get a Heracross in play so I can Mega Evolve him as soon as possible and be awesome like that. Um, I, 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 yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> get rid of that Muscle Band. Hopefully he doesn't have any Garb Odors, but that would be kind of annoying. But let's get these guys in play too, and then totally end our turn because we can't attack. <laughs> But next turn, we can attack and start attaching energies to our benched Heracross EX. And then our Mega Heracross can finally come out. See, th this is what I'm saying. Like, it takes a while to get the Mega Heracross out. Um, but that's okay. Um, I mean, it's, it's just such a tank when you do get him out that it doesn't even matter. So, looks like he's going to get two more Fire Energy. Um, he does have two on his Mewtwo already. It looks like he probably is going to have a Blacksmith in his deck somewhere because he did discard those fire energy like nothing. And there is a Pyroar, a Lilito, um, which is going to be slightly annoying, but at the same time, my Mega Heracross isn't affected by the Pyro's ability, so it's not too big of a problem. Um, we're going to put the Hard Charm on our Heracross, and then we're going to Skyla. Um, I guess we can Victory Kiss for one heck extra heal. Um, let's see here. I can Ultra Ball for a Cheerum and then do an extra heal, but I kind of want to get an energy in play. So I'm going to Skyla. Hope to hope that my Professor's Letter is not prized. Sweet is not. And we can get two more energy in play um, and start attacking with our Verizian, um, which is awesome. So, and yeah, I think I'm going to Ultra Ball to get. Actually, no. Actually, yeah. I think I'm going to get the Mega Heracross. No. The Cherubi. I want to get the Cherubi, but at the same time, I don't know. Um, we're going to get rid of some supporter. Yeah, I'm just going to get the Cherubi right now. Um, and then start powering up my... Or not Cherubi, Cherum. And then start powering up um, my Heracross with the energy. Um, yeah, heal my Verizian off just so he doesn't get knocked out very easily. And yeah, Verdi Emer Emerald Slash, not Verdiant Wind. What the heck? I keep mi mixing those two up. Um, so, Emerald Slash to our benched Heracross and be awesome like that. So we already have four energy in play. We already have two healers in play and our Verizian is looking good for another round because he's only doing one, two, three, four, five, a max of like, yeah, he's doing like a hundred damage, um, which is not going to knock me out. He could have knocked me out though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh, he might be able to knock. Nope. He, okay. If he had a blacksmith, 
He could have knocked me out, but he already shawned, so he can't. Um, actually, he's doing 80. I don't know why I said 100. Um, but there's a super potion. I could just super potion this turn. And then Emerald Slash again. Um, I think I might do that. Um, e e yeah. Because then I can Juniper. Or I could just Colrus this turn for 6, but Juniper will give me an extra one. But at the same time, I'm just going to Colrus because I don't care. <laughs> Uh, and there's some energy. I can start powering up my other Heracross too, um, but I'm not going to because I'm going to get the Mega Heracross in play right now, and that's going to be awesome. So I'm going to get the heart, get rid of the hard charm. You know, it might have been a bad idea to do that, but I don't care. Mega Heracross, here you come. <laughs> okay, there we go. Mega Heracross is officially in play, and my Verizian might or might not get knocked out by this Mewtwo. Um, that Pyroar is going to be a pain in the butt, though, um, and yes, there's a double colorless on the Mewtwo, so I'm going to get knocked out. No, 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 no. Don't bring out my Mega Heracross. What the heck are you doing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. He's doing 120. is not too bad because of the hard, hard charm. Um, okay, I could go for a Herbal Energy, which I'm going to do. I'm going to Juniper, hope to get a Herbal Energy, and it's a pretty good chance that I'm going to get it. Um, no, no goes. But I do have a lot of healing in my hand, so I don't even need the Herbal Energy. Um, and that's a good thing. <laughs> um, so I'm going to heal off some damage here. Um, I could just Gold Potion at this point, and then heal off the rest of the damage and knock out this Mewtwo, which is probably what I'm going to do. Um, I think I'm going to attach an energy to my Heracross too, mm, just in case I need... I mean, this Pyro is doing a lot of damage. Um, he's doing... 220 damage? If he has a fire energy. Is that is that true? He's doing... Yeah, because he can do 30 more if he discards an energy. And 20 from the muscle band. But then I have a hard charm. So he's he's not doing enough to knock me out. But um, I have a perfect hand to just heal off everything too. Um, I hope. <laughs> Actually, we're going to undo that last action. And... Put that energy on our Mega Heracross. So I can potentially Super Potion twice next turn. Um, we're going to Gold Potion this turn though. And heal off all that damage. And then we're going to Big Bang Horn for 180. And hope that Pyroar doesn't knock us out. <laughs> hope that he doesn't have a Startling Megaphone in order to um, do that 220 damage to me. Um, if he does get rid of my Hard Charm. Because that Hard Charm is the only thing that's saving me from that Pyro right now. And there comes a Bear Tick. Um, and I do grab another Super Potion from the prizes, which is awesome. Um, but there is an Energy on the Pyro and a Bear Tick um, in the active position. So hopefully that Pyro doesn't come out and murder me. <laughs> that would be bad. I'm, I'm kind of scared about that Pyro right now. Um, I'm not going to lie because, yeah, like I said, he could potentially knock me out. Um, but there's an Ultra Ball for uh, another Lolito to get another Pyroar in play. But at the same time, that Pyroar, I mean, that Pyroar can knock me out. Um, but the Hard Charm is the only thing saving me. And it looks like he just passes his turn. And now I am left with, um, I guess I can start healing off my Verizian just to, I mean, just to heal. Um, I kind of want to not knock out the Bear Tick. And I want to get a Lysander in play just to get rid of that Pyroar before it comes out and, and murders me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but at the same time, I don't really have the means of doing that. Um, so I might just have to Big Bang Horn and knock out this Bear Tick and hope to get the Lysander for my prizes. Dang it. <laughs> so here comes a big bad Pyroar, and now I'm scared. Okay, it looks like he gets another Pyroar in play. Please no startling megaphone. Please no startling megaphone. That would ruin my day. That would ruin my no. Okay, he's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. I can sense it. Here it comes. He didn't get it. He would have played it already if he got it. Haha. <laughs> uh, but here is an ultra ball. Um, I don't even know if he has a surly megaphone, which would be awesome because then he can't knock me out. But he can do like 100 damage to me, so... I mean 200 damage to me, so that's going to be a big, big hurt. But it's not going to be a big bang horn. So it looks like he does do 200, but I can easily knock out this Pyroar. Um, and there is another Super Potion. Wow, okay. So we're going to Super Potion. Um, we have to discard an energy to heal 60, but that's okay. And then we can do another Super Potion 
Um, but let's let's just do a victory kiss first, and then a cheer him. Um, what else can we do? Um, because he can just bring out that pyro and knock me out again. Um, I, I guess a regular potion. Um, how much are we at now? We're at 80 left to go. 80 left to heal. So I can put down another Jinx and heal 10. I can super potion. I'm going to super potion again. God, oh, that's a bad idea. Um, yeah, I'm going to super potion again and heal si uh, 60 more, but I have to discard an energy. And I'm going to energy switch this energy onto my Mega Heracross. And then we'll have another energy to attack. And then put the Jinx down, and then I'm going to end this turn, um, just because I can. And hope that he doesn't have uh, a Startling Megaphone in his deck. So I need to get a Herbal Energy right now, that would be awesome, but it looks like I got another Super Potion. He's still not going to knock me out though, even with the Pyroar. So um, yeah, Big Bang Horn for 170. <laughs> See, look at that, we just healed off 190 damage in one turn. And there's a... Herbal energy to bring some more healing to my Mega Heracross. And now here comes another 200 damage hit with the Pyroar probably. Oh man, he's just killing me with the Pyroars right now. Um, <laughs> Startling Megaphone! No! Are you kidding me? Uh, oh wait, he doesn't have a uh, Muscle Band. So he still can't knock me out unless he gets a Muscle Band. Um, please? Please don't knock me out. I'll cry if you knock me out. Yes, there's 180. Oh my gosh. Okay. And there's a potion so I can heal the Mega Heracross. Um, herbal Energy to heal the Mega Heracross by 30. Um, Super Potion to heal for 60 more. Get rid of the Herbal Energy that I just put on him. And now we're at... Um, let's see here. I think we're at enough to KO this Pyroar. Uh, I mean, we definitely are, but I want to save enough to not get knocked out. So he can do 180 to me. He's doing 180 to me, um, which is not even enough. Um, I kind of want to save the super potion, but at the same time, I want to get a potion in play or something that can just heal, but I don't think that's going to work. Um, I, if I could attack this turn, I would just use a super potion right now, but I'm just going to Juniper and hope to get... Yeah, um, I didn't get anything. So, Big Bang Horn for 150, and hope that he only can do 180 damage to me next turn. Okay, that's what I'm hoping. Um, and here's the Pyroar. Um, there's the N, that's going to put me down to 1, and that's going to hurt me a lot. Um, dang it. Uh, hopefully he can't attack, that would be awesome. I mean, um, that would be just super cool. But there's a computer search, probably for an energy... Um, because he probably doesn't have one in his hand, or maybe he does, or maybe he's going for a, a, a muscle band. You know, you never know. Um, so already we healed so much damage off this Mega Heracross. Um, he might not even be able to knock me out this turn, because uh, he only had four cards left in his deck. What are the chances that those are the cards he needs? I don't know. Don't ask me. Could could He could have saved something, but maybe he didn't, because he's not even going to attack. He quits! He didn't have the energy. He didn't have anything. Nice. Mega Heracross, you did it again. <laughs> oh man, let's play one more. Let's play one more. Just because this deck is so fun. I love this deck. Thanks, Peg, for giving me this deck idea. I'm um, giving me this deck list. He just gave me the whole thing. Um, wow. Um, <laughs> oh, I didn't even check how much damage we healed. I was going to do that, but we healed so much damage. He did 200 damage, and then he did 180 damage again. And I healed it almost all completely off. Uh, that's just amazing. Um, but Pyroar is not efficient to win this Mega Heracross deck. We'll skip to the next game. Just kidding, we're here already! <laughs> okay, that always happens. I mean, that took a little a little while. Looks like we got a Shy Gug over here. Shy Gug 16. Um, not Shy Guy. Don't get him mixed up with Shy Guy. It's Shy Gug. Okay, it looks like I get to go first, which is awesome. Hopefully we get to start with the Verizian. We don't. Oh, uh, wait. Wait, we didn't start with anything yet. Um, hopefully we start with the Verizian. We don't, but we didn't start with anything yet. Hopefully we start with the Verizian. Oh my gosh, are you serious? How are we not drawing anything? Um, we're getting a lot of potions, though. And we start with the Jinx and the Lysander support. That is not good. Um, but at least we can attach the energy this turn so we can retreat next turn. Are you kidding me? I didn't draw a thing. This might be bad. And this is the bad start that I was talking about. 
these are the bad starts that this deck can potentially have. Um, yeah, not good. Hopefully we can draw a supporter next turn, and hopefully it's not a bad supporter. Um, hopefully, or even a Mega Heracross would be a, uh, maybe a Verizian. You know, I just want an N. Hopefully he ends me. Oh, sweet, you end me. Thank you. Thank you, Shy Gug. You're the best Gug around. Um, you're the only Gug around, I, I think. Um, but it looks like we still didn't get much. Um, we did get an energy so we can get a Verizian. Um, but, man, there's a Squirtle. He's probably going to go for the Blastoise. This is a Blastoise Black Hurum deck. You haven't seen one of those for a while. Um, but I'm just going to get the Verizian out with the Ultra Ball here. Skyla Ultra Ball and they get the Verizian. Um, and I'm going to get some energy out so I don't have to discard my potions. Maybe I'll discard one potion. But I'm still left without a Supporter. Uh, yeah, I'm going to discard one potion and an energy. And then get the Verizian, start powering the Verizian up. And then just try to attack, I guess. Um, I feel like I want to retreat this turn just in case he gets like a enhanced hammer or something. Um, yeah, I'm just going to retreat into the Verizian right now. Um, it seems like a be uh, my best option. Because if he attacks me, I can just attach the Herbal Energy. Heal 30, so I won't be healing nothing. But I don't think he's going to attack me unless he gets a, state, a turn 2 Blastoise, which is... Uh, not very likely, and it looks like he didn't have anything, so I get the Cheerman play, another Skyla in my hand, nice. So I think I'm going to go for, oh man, um, I can't even Verdiant win this turn. Um, I can Skyla for a supporter, but I mean I can attack, but I can't attach an energy, um, which is kind of disappointing. Um, I think I'm just going to go for the N, um, because nothing else is really helping me right now. I guess I could go for the Ultra Ball too, just to get something. Um, I, I think I'm just going to go for the end, just because it's my best option. I don't really want to discard the gold potion. Um, and, yeah. I mean, he helped me once with an end, so why not help him once with an end? Seems like the most nice thing I can do. I mean, it's not the most best thing that will help me win the game, but it looks like he does have a Skyla now, so he might just Skyla for a Rare Candy or an Ultra Ball. Oh, yeah, he probably has a Rare Candy in his hand right now. Um, so he's probably going to... He had an N in his hand. Why didn't he use it? <laughs> so apparently he did have a supporter, so I'm just being nice for nothing. Um, and now he is going to get a Blastoise in play, and I'm going to N him with a fresh hand. Uh, so hopefully I don't have to play this N. Hopefully I can get a... Uh, no. Um, I'm, I'm going to need to N. Um, no, I'm just going to keep attacking. You know, why not? I mean, I don't want to N him to a new hand. I should have probably got a different supporter. Um, but if he, oh no, he's going to start attacking me. So, um, I probably need to end now as soon as possible. Um, but I can heal off some damage here. Um, put a heart, you know what? I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and slowly knock out this black hero because I'm just healing and you know what? I'm not going to give him a fresh hand. I'm just going to knock out this, this black hero as fast as possible. He has 30 HP to go and there's a Skyla. He's probably going to have to get, um... You know, he could go for the Black Ballista this turn, and he could go for a Professor's Letter just to get some more energy in play, um, and that's what he's going to do. He's going to Black Ballista, but I can just bring out my Cheerum next turn and attack with a random peck if I do get an energy, um, but that's kind of disappointing that he does knock out my Verizian, but at the same time, he doesn't have any energy in play, he doesn't have a hand, um, he has to discard three energy from his Black Kyrum. Um that Kyrum is going to go down. Um, I might have to end, though, if I don't draw something. So I think I'm just going to end, just because he does have a hand now. Um, yeah, I'm just going to end, hopefully draw an energy, nice, and wow, that is exactly not what I wanted. Two mega, this is just a weird game right now. Um, I am knocking out this, this <laughs> black Kyrum, um, even if I do flip two tails. No, I'm not! Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Well... I am going to knock him out next turn for sure, um, <laughs> unless he does have energy to knock me out. All he need, well, I guess he needs three more energy to knock out my Cheerum, or two more energy and a Muscle Band. Dang it! I might lose this game just because I'm stupid. I'm trying. <laughs> I should have just end before. And there's a Superior Energy Retrieval, so he's gonna knock out my Cheerum, and my Jinx can't knock this guy out. Um, wow, this is just embarrassing right now. 
Um, I need to get uh, Verizian in play, and I just need to get, yeah, um, he's going to do, <laughs> I can't believe I didn't knock him out, that's kind of disappointing, um, that I flipped two tails. I thought I only needed 20 more damage to go though. Um, yeah, I'm not playing this game very well. <laughs> oh man, um, I probably should have just went for the Mega Heracross right away. Um, there's a Verizian, so I can just start powering him up. You know what, my Mega Heracross... Did I use my Professor's Letter already? Yeah, I did. So I can't Skyla for that. I'm just going to have to Juniper, otherwise I'm just going to lose. Um, I need to start powering up my Verizian. And I'm running out of energy in my deck, so that's not a good sign. Um, probably going to save my end so I can end him down to a, a considerable amount of nothingness. Let me see how many energy I actually have. I have a Herbal, uh, Grass, and that's it. So I need to attach the rest of my energy to a Mega Heracross in order to do anything, and that's not going to happen. Oh, wait, I can. I have an energy switch left too, so I, I can potentially do something here. Okay, but it's not going to be very easy. <laughs> There's a Floatstone, so he's probably going to bring out his Blastoise. Um, but his Blastoise is weak against my Verizian, and my Verizian does have a resistance to his Blastoise. Oh man, okay, so this... Black Kyrim is probably not going to get knocked out, because he did attach a Floatstone, but he's going to knock out my Jinx, and, you know, this is, I don't know, I could, I could win this game potentially, but that potential is not very good. Um, yeah, like I said before, like three times, uh, this deck isn't very good, I mean, it can have a bad startup sometimes, and this is probably one of those bad startups, especially since I didn't play it very well. Um, but he's going to do 100 damage to my Jinx, and my Verizian is going to come out and knock out... No, he's not. not he's not going to knock out this Blastoise, but um, we can attach an energy to my bench. I'm going to end him down to 2, and me up to 6, so that's kind of nice. And then, there's an energy switch, so I can attach one energy from my deck to my Heracross, and then we need to energy switch, bring out... A herbal energy, my last herbal energy in my deck, and then get a mega hair cross, which I can't do anymore because they're both in the discard pile. So, um, no mega hair cross will do. Um, I'm gonna have to knock out this Blastoise and then just guard press <laughs> until I win, which is not gonna work either. So, this is not gonna work. This deck is definitely not gonna work. Um, but, you know what? Here comes a Keldeo out, so he's probably just gonna sacrifice his Keldeo, which is awesome. Um, very awesome. I can end him down to two once again. I can a Lysander too. Okay, I still have a Lysander in place, so I can potentially bring that out and be awesome. But I'm going to bring out my Jinx. Um, didn't get the energy I needed, but I can definitely attach the Hard Charm to my Verizian, and that will help out a little bit. So I'm going to do 100 damage to this Keldeo and end my turn. So the weakness is definitely in my favor right now. Um, he doesn't have any energy, um, but there's a Blastoise energy to... Probably the Mewtwo. Um, no, he's going for the Keldeo, which is unexpected. Unexpected. <laughs> um, but not really, because if he does... Oh, oh no, he's going to power up his Keldeo. Oh, man, I have a Super Potion in my hand, but I need those energy. Like I said, I need to conserve those energy. So um, I probably should have Lysander that Blastoise out. Oh, no. He's going to take the last prize. Yep, there's the last prize. He just won. Dang it. I probably should have bla um, Lysander that Blastoise out just to knock it out, but, you know, I didn't. So, um, that hard charm almost saved me, but no, not not, not, not enough. So, so like I said, this deck isn't the best, but it is good. It is good. Like, like yeah, yeah it is good. So, that's going to be the episode for today. Mega hair across, you guys. So, be sure to like this video if you like it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not. And we'll see you next episode, guys. Thanks for watching.